Today I'm here with another Town Hall 10 unbeaten war base out of Clash Champs that you have to download with the base link trial. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and welcome back to the channel where I have another Town Hall 10 unbeaten base for you guys, like I said, out of Clash Champs. Guys, to have a base that can be used in this series, it needs to have performed in one or two wars at least and not been beaten. It doesn't matter whether it's a Town Hall 10, 9, 8, 11, 12, 13, or if the base has been 99% and as long as the base is not three-starred, it's considered an unbeaten base. What just happened here is the enemy queen was attacking and uh, the, the CC actually took it down. The clan castle composition is a multiple of things. Everything from that CC is linked down below in the description of this video. So if you want to check it out and really figure out your clan castle compositions, you should do just that. Now, we have a bit of a P.E.K.K.A. smash going on here and the healers have already transferred over to the king and that P.E.K.K.A. But what we need to see are these things go into the base. Although, if they decide to walk themselves around, I guess they could uh, go right to the town hall. But here they are. We already have the Hog Riders coming in a little bit early on the attack. And, uh, well, this is how it all begins. Something that we do in all of these videos, guys, is one, expose all the traps. Two, we give you the base link down below, which we're gonna talk about in a moment. And three, I want you guys in the comment section to let me know what strategy would you use to three-star this base? Every base can be three-starred. There is no base that is unbeatable. There are only bases that have not yet been beaten, which would be considered an unbeaten base, which is what we're talking about here today. Those bowlers heading nicely through the core of the base. Unfortunately, there doesn't... Actually, it looks like we do have a P.E.K.K.A. or two in there. So, yeah, there is a lot of power going into the base. P.E.K.K.A. on the outside as well, right by that town hall, taking down those Tesla. About to chop down the town hall, but the skeletons do come into the town and mess things up for that P.E.K.K.A. Bowlers, though, they could roll their rocks and take down that town hall. Looks like it may happen. Only 57 seconds left on the attack. We have air attacks and ground attacks against this base in this video today so that you can decide if this is a base that you want to try out in your wars. Remember guys, you can download these bases and test them out in friendly challenges with your clan mates as well just to make sure it performs to your liking. This right here, we're getting a pretty high percentage against the base, but again, it's not going to be a three star at the end of the day. And uh, this clan is called Africans Wild. It's uh, one of the clans that we go up against regularly for these test wars to try out these bases. It's actually one of Ice Queen's clan, who's one of the people that does so much work for us over at Class Champs, at Class School, at Champ Bases. Much love to her for all the work that she puts into making those places and my channel great. So thank you, Queen. But as you guys can see, only four seconds left. A freeze is left in the comp, but the time is not there. Let's check out another strategy. Now, of course, we have to go in via the air as well. So how about a cloned Sui Lalo? I'm wondering what's coming out of that slammer. Is it going to be an Electro Dragon? We have another CC lore here. Lord by one balloon. Sorry, my face cam is covering that up. But now all the CC lore is going to the other side of the base. Notice the baby dragon, the two headhunters are coming out as well. Gonna really do some damage to the heroes. I, I love the headhunters in the clan castle. Really works out great. Now, if you can't do headhunters and a baby dragon, or, well, another option I should say is, you can come in with one electro dragon instead of the baby dragon and headhunters backfilling with goblins. Stone Slammer's coming through right now, guys, and uh, doing some good work. So notice that Stone Slammer is being attacked by the Baby Dragon. So the Baby Dragon is getting some good value, actually. And an air mine comes out and slams on it as well. All the while, it's being beaten up by that Sweeper, pushing it back. But the Electrone does come out. Electro Dragon should be able to take down the Queen. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Queen does go down. And that is the job of the Electrone. The Balloons are going to clear out defenses. The Electro Dragon itself is there to take down the Queen. A Rage, a Clone, you can get the job done. So that went well right here for Titan on the attack, but now it's Lalo time. We have the Lava Hounds coming in from up top, the Balloons behind with a handful of minions sprinkled behind to clean up what's left. Now the question I have for you guys is, 
where does this one fail, right? How does this attack actually not three-star the base? Things started out well. The Sui hero went in, did a good job, took care of the clan castle. The Electron out of the battle blimp, no, out of the stone slammer, did a nice job taking down the enemy queen, so or the defending queen. So why does the attack die here? The balloons are gonna get on top of that final air defense. No more spells are left. The Inferno Tower is about to go down and does. There's only one wizard tower over here in the western side of the base. There's a king, a king's pedestal, and that may be it. I wonder if these balloons are gonna get it. To oh, look at this wizard tower going ham on those balloons, shutting them down, my goodness. This may be the winning wizard tower of the year in Clash of Clans. The defense of the year is that wizard tower. It took down like six balloons. Now there's even the Lava Pups cleaning up the base as well. With 46 seconds left, it's going to be a fail. Now I want to let you guys know while we watch these last 30 seconds, if you're looking for bases, whether they're free or whether you pay for them because you're in tournaments, events, or you just want to win your wars, you can head on over to Clash Champs. And over on Clash Champs is a champ base division where they have all different base packages for you and for your clan mates, all priced differently for different purposes. You can use code ECHO and save yourself 10% on any base packs or anything that you purchase from Clash Champs or any coaching that you decide to grab from Clash School. All run by my good friend Agester. We work together to make that and Clash of Clans a better community for all of us so we can all enjoy the game and dominate Clash of Clans. Now we're taking it back to the ground as Urfan from Crazy Hunters goes on in with the Queen Walk Miner strategy. One of the strongest and best at Town Hall 10. Definitely one of my favorites from years back when I was a Town Hall 10 myself. Starting out with that Queen Walk, what's happening is that base is getting narrowed down. We have a couple of ho uh, goblins actually coming out of the clan castle. Goblins, a baby dragon, and two headhunters. Remember, if you don't have the inferno dragon, switch it with the baby dragon, add a few goblins to spam things up. Although, the queen charge, or the queen walk, is going to do a nice job cleaning that up. Urfan, a really good attacker. I know this because he's part of my clan family, as is the Crazy Hunters. So here we go, walking on up. It looks like the Queen's ability was used a little bit earlier than wanted here. The King is dropped with that P.E.K.K.A. skin. You know that Urfan is using Code Echo when he buys his skins or any passes inside of Clash of Clans. You should too. Helps keep me live on YouTube, guys. Keep it going. Queen is walking around really nicely. The Pekkas and the King are doing a nice job funneling down the base. And the King is now stepping on in, popping the ability. I'm anticipating the Miners. Here they come right for that Town Hall. Although the King is going to grab that Town Hall himself. The Queen walking around nicely still. Good job with the freeze spell on that defense. But look at this. The Queen struggling to stay alive. Oh, and she does finally go down. Too many bows and archer towers on her. Not enough to keep her up. Hog Riders coming out of that siege barrack, storming the core of the base. What's gonna shut them down? Is it the wizard towers in the back end? Is it the inferno tower? Or just the bows raining down on those hogs and on, on those miners? We have a bunch of heal spells, like a ton of them, and the, those Miners were all stuck on those skeletons as well, slowing them down, keeping them low, air bombs slamming against those healers so that the miners can't continue on too much into the base. Another heal spell still in the comp. We're going to see it being used right here in that compartment with the Inferno Tower. At least that's what I anticipate. There we go. There's one. And uh, miners up top as well. Minions now could be sprinkled in to clean up the top of the base. So what is it? It's all of these Tesla. It's the Archer Tower from far. It's the cannon right behind the corner of my webcam. And right now the miner, the hogs and the hogs are gone. Miners are gonna get beaten up big time by all of those point defenses and by that mortar that's raining down on them if they don't duck under the ground. Plus you have the storages there that really slow down the troops. Miners can be tough if you can't get them going quickly through the core of the base. Even if you have the heal spells, as we saw Urfan had on this one. You know, you got the heals, but if they're getting hit by the Inferno Towers, if they're being hit by Tesla, Archer Towers, and Cannons all at the same time, there's only so far that they can go. They can only get so much work done before they end up dying out, even under heal. Sometimes it's nice to have an extra Rage spell to really slam them into the core of the base and make them go ham. 
And we have another minor hit, a little bit different here. There is a P.E.K.K.A. in the composition, and we have S.E. One, another good friend of mine out of the Crazy Hunters, kind of remaking the attack. This is the second attempt with this type of strategy against this base. Now remember, this base is unbeaten. It is held every single time it's been attacked. Also, the base link is down below. Note to you. If for some reason the base link is not working, first of all, I will apologize. Second, I'll ask someone from my community to rebuild that base that wants to use it. And if you do, share the base link from your recreated version in the comments and I'll be sure to pin that comment. We need to keep in mind, guys, these bases, they only last, the, the whole, uh, you know, the base link only lasts for 24 days. Sometimes I record videos and schedule them out so they don't come out as I record them. So those 24 days can expire if the base link hasn't been used. Now, of course, I try to refresh these along the way, but I don't personally have a Town Hall 10 to do that. So I will try my best, but if for some reason the base link isn't working again, I'm sorry. And uh, I would love it if one of you stepped up and I'll, I'll show you the love with that pinned comment, giving you some thanks. So I appreciate it ahead of time if need be. So SE1 coming in with both of those primal skins. He's got the primal queen and the primal king. Some of my least favorite skins inside of the game, but he's doing a nice job here. The, the healers are getting that queen healed back up as well. Gonna get through the town hall. Will she go after the enemy queen? Yes, the enemy queen or the defending queen is being attacked because really the enemy here is the attacker. Although it's my friend from my clan fam. I guess they're all my friends now. But here come the miners coming in from the different side of the base. I like this approach a little bit better. You got the P.E.K.K.A. funneling things down with the wizards behind, the miners going into the point of the base that was created by that queen walk. And now the queen is gonna continue walking down, continuously narrowing down the base as she goes. Two more heal spells left in the composition. Hog Riders coming out of the siege barrack as well. Miners are gonna push on through. Where is it going to struggle this time? In my opinion, watching this right now, this is a better approach to this base. It's a better, uh, um, it's a better attack angle, really. We had Urfan come in from the west. I like that SE's coming in from the north with those miners. Although, really, the miners. Just, they ran out of time in the last one. Some did still stand. All of the heal spells have been used. They're around those point de those splash defenses like the wizard tower, which is smart. And the queen, she's continuing walking, but if you saw an air mine just did slam into her healers, which can really mess her up. What I'd love to see right now would be a healer transfer on top of those miners. Only 30 seconds left. We have a few point defenses left as well, but that archer tower is just slamming down those healers and that's gonna hurt the queen. Although, she may, she's actually at full health. Giant Bomb, she's gonna take down the Archer Tower. He's at an 88% right now with 12 seconds left. It looks like the reason that this base stood for this attack is because of a time fail, and that does happen, and it does count. A time fail is still a fail. Remember that when you try out this base. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these bases or getting bases for free, you're gonna come over here to Clash Champs, you're gonna go to Champ Bases, and that is the section where you can grab your base packages. Those are our builders, and we have all different packs for all different Town Hall levels. Or if you're looking for free bases, you could go to I Need a Base, and it will take you to a bunch of bases that have been uploaded by the community and uh, these are great as well and I always I always suggest that you guys share some of your favorite bases here as well giving back to the community but we're out of here for today guys hope you enjoyed the video check out these ones before you go and be good